Okay guys, now that we can register, we're going to create login and log out functionality. Okay, so first thing I want to do is look at this form, this login form up here, which is in our header. So if we're in views, we can go to layouts, includes, header. And let's just make sure it's going to the right place, which it's not. So as you can see we have our form tag, um, but we have no action. So this is going to be method equals post and then action. We're going to use the base URL. And it's going to go to the user's controller and then login. All right, so that should do it. Make sure you have the name, username, name, password, submit. All right, so save that. Uh, actually, one more thing I wanted to do here in the header is this create account link. It's going to user slash regist register. It should actually be users, plural. All right, so save that. Okay, now we can get out of here. And we're going to go to the user's controller and create a new function and I would suggest that you you fully comment your code uh, especially your your methods and your classes um, I'm not doing every single uh, method with a comment just to save time but it's just good practice alright so login we're gonna do the same thing that we did with register um, we're going to use the form validation class. I'm just going to copy this for username and password. And then here I'm going to paste that in. Uh, for username, trim is good. Required is good. Uh, minimum and max, fine. Same thing with password, except we don't need, ma um, actually we don't even have matches. Yeah, so that's fine. All right. So I'm going to grab the input, the username and password, and put them in a, a vari variable. So username is equal to this input post username. And I think I have already told you, but uh, this here is the exact same as using this. Okay, so if you've used this, you're familiar with post super globals. Um, it's the same exact thing. This is just Code Igniter's version using the input library, which is a little more secure as well. All right, so now let's get the password. And this is going to be in, encoded in MD5. That's how it is in the database, so that's how it is when we want to match it. And this should be password. All right, so next we're going to use the user model. I'm going to create a variable called user ID, and that's going to be equal to this user model login and we're going to pass in our username and password all right and then down here I'm going to paste this in to save time and I'll just explain uh, so basically we're assigning the return value of the login function from in the model to user ID if this runs and works and, and whatever it, the, it matches, this will equal the user ID. If it doesn't, then this will equal false. So we're checking it here. All right, so if, it, if this model login function works, right, uh, guys, so then this will run. If not, then this will run. All right, so what we're doing here is creating a, an, a data array with the user ID, the username, and we're also setting this logged in to true. So this logged in is what we're going to check when we want to see 
if the user is actually logged in or not. Then right here, what we're doing is just um, storing this data into a session using this set user data function. All right, and then down here, we're doing flash data again. It's just a message that says you're logged in. Um, and we're redirecting to products, which is basically the home page. And then here, if it didn't run and there were no matches or the login was wrong, we're going to set flash data for fail login and send them an error message and then redirect to products. And they will not be logged in. Now, before we actually, I'm going to save this, but before we actually try it, I want to make it so that when we're logged in, this form is no longer visible. All we should have is a log out button. All right, so let's do that now. And that is in header. So we want to go to includes, uh, views includes header, and find that form, which is right here. And we're going to check to see if that is logged in value is true. Okay, so PHP, I'm going to say if. If not, this session user data um, logged in. Okay, so if we're not logged in, we want to show this form. Okay, and then we want to say else. else then we want to show a logout form so I'm going to paste this in okay so it's just a form the action goes to users logout which we'll create in a minute um, and then it's just a button that says logout okay so let's save that and before we do anything let's go ahead and create the logout which we'll do in the users controller Okay, and this is really simple, really simple function. All we're doing is unsetting all the, the data, um, the user data array. So the logged in will be unset, user ID, username, and then we'll actually destroy the entire session and then redirect to products. All right, so let's go ahead and try this. Okay, if we go home and I enter anything, Call to undefined method user. Oh, we didn't we didn't create the model function yet. So in user model, I'm going to paste in my log um, my login function. All right. So basically, it's just going to um, we're going to say this DB where username equals whatever we pass in, and password equals whatever we pass in. All right, and then we're saying result equals get, so that'll give us our result row. If result num rows is equal to one, then we're going to um, return the result row, basically the ID. We're going to return the user's ID. If not, we're going to return false. And that's why this function here is able to work, all right, if user ID. So. Let's try that out. All right, so it didn't log us in, but we need a message here. We need to display our flash data. So let's go back and see what, what goes on here. Um, set flash data, fail login. So we need to output this message and it's gonna be in the products uh, view. So let's go there. And let's go ahead and under this, let's paste in this. And we're saying if flash data pass login, then we're gonna spit that out. If fail login, then we're gonna spit that out. So if we save that and reload this and just try to log in with anything, we get, sorry, the login is not valid. All right, so let's look at our users table. All right, now, Brad should actually be encrypted, but we added this before we even added the user class. So 
Um, let's copy this. I believe it's the same password, just encrypted. All right, username is Brad, so let's go ahead and try that. All right, so that didn't work. Um, you know what, let's just register a new account. So in my users table, I'm gonna get rid of this test user. All right, and we'll create a new account. This will be John Doe. Username, we'll say J Doe, password. One, two, three, four, five, which should be encrypted. All right, register. Okay, we're now registered and we can log in. So now let's go up here, say J Doe, one, two, three, four, five. And we're now logged in and you can see a logout button. So that's working absolutely perfect. All right, and if we click log out, we log out. So now that our user system is implemented, um, I want to hide a few things here. Right, let's create account. If we're logged in, I want that to be hidden because we already created an account. So in the header file, let's find, whoops, that's not header, this is header. Okay, so here's that create account. And again, all we need to do to check if someone's logged in is say, uh, if this session user data logged in okay well, actually we want to show this if the user is not logged in so we're just going to put an exclamation point here and then we'll say PHP and if all right save that Reload, we're not logged in, um, so we see the create account, but let's go ahead and log in. Was it JDoe? And now the create account link is gone. All right, so let's try to add to cart. That works good. If we go to the cart, now for this here, I don't want this shipping info stuff or this checkout button to be shown if we're logged in. I'm sorry, if we're not logged in. All right, so let's actually log out, go back to the cart. Well, let's add something to the cart now. Now, when you, when you log out, you destroy the session, all sessions, and your cart is also in a session. So if you log out, your cart gets destroyed as well, all right, which is uh, normal functionality on most e-commerce sites. All right, so let's go to the cart. Now we're not logged in, so I don't want to see this. I just want a create account button if the user is not logged in. All right, so let's go to our, I think it's our cart view. And right above, um, down here, right above the shipping info H3, uh, I'm just going to paste this in. So we're saying if the session, if they are, if they're not logged in, then we're going to show this register button and just give them a message. If they are, we're going to show all this. So let me just end this down here. I'm going to right before the form, I believe. Yeah, right before the form will end it. Okay, so let's try that, reload. Now we're not logged in, so we have a create an account button, which goes to register. All right, if we are logged in, and we go to our cart, we have our form and checkout button. All right, and one more thing. Uh, let's see. Actually, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. So all we have left to do now is to um, 
implement the PayPal class so that it'll actually take us to PayPal with our cart intact so that so that the user can pay